Hello, in this video we'll be working through Unit 7 homework problems 42 through 46. And for these problems we're finding the volume of a solid of revolution using the shell method. Number 42, we have a region formed by y equals 1 minus x, y equals 0, and x equals 0, and we're going to rotate this region around the y-axis. So we want to draw our reference rectangle parallel to our axis of rotation. So here's my rectangle. It's a vertical rectangle because it's parallel to the y-axis, and that makes this a dx problem. Now when I rotate this rectangle around the y-axis, I get a cylindrical shell, something like that. So for my setup, my volume is going to be 2 pi, and then I'm going to integrate, since it's a dx problem, these are x values. So we need to figure out our points of intersection. Here, this is where 1 minus x is equal to 0. So that occurs at 1. And then we're integrating from 0 to 1, because this is my shaded region here. OK, so from 0 to 1. And then I want to multiply the radius of the cylinder by the height of the cylinder. So the radius of the cylinder is this horizontal distance right here. And I can think of that, I can draw it up here, I can draw it down here at the bottom, because the cylinder has a constant radius. So that horizontal distance there is what I'm looking for, and I can draw it right here as well, just to, so it's kind of out of the way there. That horizontal distance, so horizontal distance, we do the right x value minus the left x value. That distance is just x. We can think of this point at the top of the rectangle there as x comma y. So to get to that point from the origin, we go over x and up y. So that horizontal distance is x. We go over x and up y. So that horizontal distance is x and that vertical distance is y. So the radius is x. And then our height of the cylinder is this vertical distance here. Or I can see it on the other side over here. But it's this vertical distance, which is y. But this is a dx problem. And in a dx problem, we wouldn't use y. We would use what y is equal to in terms of x. And so y is equal to 1 minus x. We know that from our equation over here. And then we multiply that by dx. So there's our setup for our volume. And we can integrate this one by hand. We would have to distribute this x. So x times 1 is x. And when we integrate that, we get x squared over 2. And then I distribute this x to this minus x. I get negative x squared. And when we integrate that, we get negative x cubed over 3. And we're evaluating that from 0 to 1. So it's 2 pi, and then I sub in the 1, 1 half minus 1 third, minus, when I sub in the 0, I just get 0 minus 0. So it's 2 pi times, and then 1 half minus 1 third, if we get a common denominator of 6, that's 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6, so just 1 over 6, for a final answer of pi over 3. For number 43, our region is formed by y equals square root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 4. So here's our x equals 4 here. It's the equation x equals 4. And we're going to rotate this around the y-axis. So using shell method, we want to draw our reference rectangle parallel to our axis. So again, here we have a dx problem. And my cylinder, when I rotate around the y-axis, is going to be something like that. And my function here, I'm running out of room, just put it right here. Our function here is y equals square root of x. When we have a dx problem, we want our equation to be in the form of y equals some function of x. So our volume equation will be 2 pi. And then we're going to integrate. This is a dx problem. So we want x values. 
for our lower and upper limits of integration. So we're going from x equals 0 to x equals 4. Now we need radius times height. Okay, so the radius of the cylinder is this horizontal distance here. That's just x. And then the height of the cylinder is this vertical distance here, which is the height of that rectangle. So we do top minus bottom. The top of the rectangle is y equals square root of x. The bottom of the rectangle is touching y equals 0. So it's just square root of x minus 0. I don't have to write the minus 0. And then we can integrate that. x times the square root of x is the same as x to the power 3 halves. So we integrate that, we get x to the power 5 halves times 2 fifths. And we're evaluating from 0 to 4. Okay, so 4 to the 5 halves, that's the same as 2 to the 5th, or 32. 32 times 2 is 64 over 5. And then when I sub in the 0, I just get 0. Okay, so now I have 128 pi over 5. 44, now our region is formed by y equals x squared, y equals 0, and x equals 2. We want to rotate around the y-axis. So we draw a vertical rectangle, making this a dx problem. We want our equation solved for y, so y equals x squared is our equation there. And this is then a dx problem. So we have 2 pi, and then the integral, radius times height, times dx. So my cylinder is here. And I'm looking for radius, so this horizontal distance, which is just x. And then the height of the cylinder, which is this vertical distance, top minus bottom, it's just x squared minus 0. And we're going from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So 2 pi integral, we are integrating x cubed, so we get x to the power 4 over 4 from 0 to 2. So 2 pi times 2 to the 4th is 16 over 4 is 4, and when I put in 0, I just get 0. So final answer, 8 pi. 45, we're going to find the volume of the solid resulting from rotating the region enclosed by y equals x squared and y equals 4x minus x squared. Let me label these while I'm thinking about it. So the parabola opening down is y equals 4x minus x squared. And then the parabola opening up is y equals x squared. And we want to rotate this around the line x equals 2, which is right here, which is in the way of my equations that I just wrote. We'll work around that. So this is x equals 2. We're rotating around that line x equals 2. So if I'm using shell method, then I want to draw my reference rectangle parallel to my axis of rotation. We'll pretend that's parallel. And that makes this a dx problem, dx. So my volume is 2 pi, and then I'm integrating with respect to x. So let's draw the cylinder. We're rotating around x equals 2, which puts my cylinder over here. So the radius of the cylinder is this horizontal distance. When I measure this horizontal distance, I do the right side minus the left side. The right side of this interval is at x equals 2. The left side is at y equals 4x minus x squared. Now the distance from the y-axis to the rectangle is x. And the distance from the y-axis all the way to that line of rotation is 2. But what I want is this distance here. So it's going to be 2 minus x. And then the height of my cylinder is this vertical distance, which is my the height of my rectangle. So I'll do top minus bottom with respect to x. So it's 4x minus x squared. 
that's the top function, minus the bottom function, which is x squared. And we can simplify that. And we're integrating from, I gotta get my points of intersection here. So we would set our equations equal to one another to figure out the points of intersection, or we might be able to guess and check. So where does that equal x squared? Well, if I say add x squared over, I get 2x squared, and then if I subtract 4x equals 0 and factor out a 2x, I'm left with 2, nope, not 2. I'm left with x minus 2. There we go. So x equals 0 or x equals 2. So here's the point of intersection where x equals 0. And then over here, this intersects where x is 2. So we're going from 0 to 2. OK, so 2 pi integral from 0 to 2. And then here, I can combine these like terms. So I get 4x minus 2x squared. But I have to expand that. So we're going to FOIL this out if we're going to integrate it by hand. So the 2 times the 4x is 8x. And then outer product is 2 times the negative 2x squared. Inner product is negative x times 4x. And then last times last would be plus 2x cubed. And I can combine these two middle terms. So 8x minus 8x squared plus 2x cubed. And then we use power rule to integrate. So 8x squared over 2 is 4x squared minus 8x cubed over 3 plus 2x to the fourth over 4 from 0 to 2. When I put in 0, I'm just going to get 0. So I'm just going to kind of ignore my 0 down there. And we need to sub in the 2. So 4 times 4 is 16, minus 2 cubed is 8, 8 times 8 is 64, so minus 64 over 3, plus 2 to the 4th is 16 over 2 is 8. Okay, so we've got 2 pi times 16 plus 8 is 24, and 24 times 3 is 72. So 72 minus 64 over 3. So I have 2 pi times 8 over 3, which gives me 16 pi over 3. And number 46, use the shell method to find the volume of the solid resulting from rotating the region enclosed by y equals 1 over x. We see that graph here. y equals 1. So we'll put that out right there. And y equals 2. Let's say it's right there. And x equals 0. We're rotating around the x-axis now. So we're going to draw our, here's our region right here. This is the region that we're rotating around the x-axis. We're going to draw our reference rectangle parallel to our axis of rotation. So now this is a dy problem. And when you have a dy problem, you want to solve your equations for x. So our function y equals 1 over x becomes x equals 1 over y. And we get volume equals 2 pi times the integral. This is a dy problem now. So we want our y values here and here. We're going from y equals 1 up to y equals 2. And let's draw our cylinder. We're rotating this around the x-axis. So our cylinder is down here. The radius of our cylinder is this vertical distance, which is just y. And then the height of our cylinder is this horizontal distance. So right minus left, that's going to be 1 over y minus 0. So 2 pi, integral from 1 to 2. Now y times 1 over y is just 1. And the, inner, the antiderivative of 1 with respect to y is y from 1 to 2. So that's an easy one to evaluate. We're just going to do 2 minus 1, which is 1. And so our final answer 
2 pi.